Hey guys, Jamie from DotLotion.com, chilling on Baffin Island. Got a little gear review for you. So far, so good. Don't have a lot of days on them, but pretty stoked on them so far. And they haven't come out on me at the top of a 4,000 foot icy chute. So yeah, that's cool. Brakes are really good, easy to use. My favorite part is this toe piece. Uh, a lot easier to use than the G3 Onyx toe piece that I had before. Just easier to get in and out of. One thing that the binding doesn't have that some of the other touring bindings has is you can't go between walk and ski mode back and forth without taking your boot out of the binding. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but other than that, uh, they're pretty darn sweet. Got a few different heel adjustment heights here. The lower, the middle, and the upper. Those are all pretty good. This could be a tiny bit higher, but I think for the new binding next year they've addressed that, which is sweet. They might have also addressed the step in, step out thing as well, so that could be pretty cool. Yeah, easy to adjust. This is a fairly random note, but I've been stripping the DIN adjustment a bit because my tool is too small, and by tool I meant screwdriver, and it's too damn cold out here. But uh, in a normal shop that wouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, they ski really well. They're nice and low to the ski, so you don't feel like you're a racer who's lost the race course. So far so good, nice and solid. I put them on these skis mainly because everyone else on the group had the same bindings and I wanted to share their spare parts. And that's already been used, so I guess that's irrelevant now, but they've been skiing really good. Two thumbs up so far. Uh, one of the other cool features is just where the toe pivot point is. So basically the pivot point for your boot is right where you want it to be. There's no extra leverage with extra binding material that's going up and down as you are touring. So it's a really efficient motion, um, really easy for you know cross country touring or say Baffin Island where you've got to go 25K across a flat frozen ocean to get to your cool bar for the day. And they're nice and light, which is good because I'm so heavy. Maybe my favorite touring binding so far, but I think if they had a higher heel piece and could go in and out of walk mode, which next year's probably do, then they'd be the winner. So check them out.